morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today is a vlog. So it is now currently quarter to seven <laughs> and as you saw just before I did a little bit of my meditation before little one wakes up. He's now getting ready with um, my husband and I'm getting his breakfast ready. I'm here in the kitchen getting his breakfast ready and getting our green, green juice ready which we have every morning as a family and I feel like it helps us definitely in the winter to uh, you know make sure our immunity stays okay and you know we feel energized and healthy during the colder months so yeah I've been doing this for about three weeks now and I'm feeling the benefits already so I'm gonna get to that now get chopping get his breakfast ready because you know, time is not on my side in the morning, especially with a little one when he gets hungry. So I'm gonna show you as much as I can and I will check in with you later. So right now I've got my celery juice going. I use three celery juices, a whole lemon, half a ginger, like put it a ginger, and a half a cucumber. So that's gonna last us for about two days. I'm trying to fit in here. <laughs> and um, I've gotta quickly do a little one for breakfast. He's coming down, I can hear him getting hungry. So I've just done some gluten-free oats. Gonna get some, a sprinkle of chia seeds. Put those in. This is something that's really easy for him that he really likes. Some cinnamon. I was gonna do toast and banana today for him, but the toast has gone off. <laughs> Mum life. So yeah, and we'll do some almond butter. Some desiccated coconut. It's a really easy breakfast for them. And he's going to have some watermelon on the side and he'll have his green juice with us. So I'm going to get to that now. Enjoying our breakfast. Yeah. yeah, what have we got there? Watermelon. Yummy. We've got some watermelon. We've got a little cold coming. Um, and some oats. I put some camo camo powder and spirulina in there because it's really good for his immunity. And it's got protein and he doesn't mind it. So he has that with all the good stuff that I showed you. So enjoy Kyrie. You're gonna say a big hi. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> His speech is going on so well. Well done, Bubba. And I am now going back to the kitchen whilst he's nice and occupied to make our green juice. Green juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, I've just about washed everything and fit it in the sieve. So that's all the ingredients that's going in the green juice. And this is a blender. If you can see, I got it from Amazon. I'll, I'll leave the link in the comment section below, in the description box, sorry. So it's really good. It was um, pretty reasonably priced, like I think $49.99. Um, and it works really, really well. So we love it. And I'm gonna get juicing now. Lemon, cucumber, celery, and 
ginger and for the boys I like to put some um, apple or pear in it so they'll have that just to sweeten it a little bit I like to just down it like this <laughs> get the greens in there um, and I like to have this first thing before any food I have this and then I'll have food like an hour to two hours afterwards because um, I feel like my digestion gets going and I feel more awake I give this time to get into my system and then I'll um, get that food down me so yeah let's get to it So I got these amazing bottles from Amazon and it keeps it because this will last us for about two to three days I don't have it past that or it goes off but these keep it so fresh the glass and keep it nice and cool and I just think they're really nice and they store the amount that you want so I'll leave these linked as well but they're great I got a pack of six so yeah gonna cheers with mummy. Cheers. 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 cheers now, you have to have a, now you have to have a sip. Mm. Yummy. Mummy time. Yummy, yummy. Mummy time. Okay guys, so I've just got myself dressed for the day quickly. I have just thrown on this uh, like loungewear tracksuit set from Miss Guiders. It's like this dusty rose colour. Uh, this is literally my life right now. <laughs> Either loungewear sets or um, active wear. And I've got my Zara boots just to make it a little bit more funky. Um, and just quickly done my hair and makeup. A literally a simple routine. That's all I can do these days because I've got to get him ready now. Um, I'll talk about this more but here in the UK we're on a second lockdown it's a little bit more eased so we're meeting a friend just one friend and her little boy in the park um, later t um, this morning so I'm gonna get Kyrie ready um, so we get some fresh air and he gets to spend some time with the little one I get to talk to one of my friends and then we'll come back he'll eat and snap and then he's got daycare in the afternoon and that's when I knuckle down and do some work so I'll show you a bit about behind the scenes and stuff like that but yeah I just wanted to show you this outfit of the day it'll change later because I'll get a quick workout in and I'll be filming a few things for my Instagram and program yeah I'll do my workout later on because I've got a little one on my hands this morning so just making it work <laughs> as a mum um but yeah as I said we're in this lockdown so there's not much going on I don't know if this is going to be the most exciting vlog but at least we can get outside like a couple times a day and meet one person so that is the plan and let's get going hey Kai you're cool yeah so Kyrie's outfit of the day can you do me a twirl can you spin <laughs> this little number's from Next. Such a cute little tracksuit. I've got them all in different colours for him. Yeah, we're going to read a book now, aren't we? <laughs> cool outfit. Cool outfit. Can you say that? <laughs> He's strong-minded. So we're on our way to the park now. So good to get some fresh air. Being in like lockdown, this is like our time to like just you know, get out the house, let him burn some energy so he sleeps well, socialise with a few little kids and I can actually see a friend. So looking forward to this and I'll check in with you later. Are you going to the park, Kyrie? Yeah. And what are you eating? <laughs> Honestly, we have to always have snacks on hand because this little one eats so much don't you <laughs> so this always keeps him quiet and he loves just being in the stroller and just looking at like cars and anything coming down the road you're excited what are you going to do at the park i see your friend yes <laughs> and what about the bars 
We make them. Yeah, so the bars that he's got there are the ones that are on my Instagram TV. And we make them at home together, don't we? The energy bars. I made yeah. him to bar size for him though, and he loves yeah. it. So for lunch today I just wanted to show you what I'm having quickly. This is a bed of arugula and rocket and then I've got some sunflower seeds, beets and then the dressing that I'm having is this coconut aminos I'm obsessed <laughs> and a dash of tahini, um, some turmeric, rosemary, black pepper and paprika and then a squeeze of lemon juice so that's my base and then I'm just going to throw on top a little bit of, I've got courgettes and hopefully you can see that courgettes and um, eggplant and then some for some protein some black beans I've just uh, toasted on the top with some sweet bell peppers so I'm going to throw this and this on top of there and I'll show you the finishing product so here it is the finishing bowl ready to tuck in looks amazing Hello guys, welcome back. It's further on in the day now and I've just finished filming some content for my Instagram and my online subscription. I will leave the links from my online subscription program below, which is on my website. And if you use the code first month, you can try my workouts on my subscription for just one pound for the first month. So yeah, lots of variety, cardio, sculpt, Pilates, bar, my signature 45 minutes, which combines the lot. So if you want to try that and work out with me from the comfort of your own home and it's all follow on long format, then use the code first month, click on the link below and it'll take you to there. So yeah, I look forward to sweating with you soon. Um, yeah, so I filmed for that and then my Instagram, I did a few reels for C-section recovery, did a foam roller and one for lean, sexy legs. <laughs> so yeah, that's the in thing at the moment on Instagram. So making sure I do some reels. And now I'm going to take some downtime because later on this evening I have week three of the C-section recovery course with Hannah Johnson. We've designed this course. If you go to my uh, previous blog, I talk a lot about this. But yeah, week three, this week we're doing a stretch flow and foam roller with me to help um, the scarred area to loosen it off and exercises that release the tension around your hips back that help... Um, with the scar recovery. And then Hannah will take them through a meditation and um, a scar deep tissue massage that, you, that they'll do on themselves and some breath work. And the combination of both of those together really helps. And the other weeks I take them through core strengthening exercises to tone and sculpt the stomach and make you feel like you love your tummy again and feel really connected and you actually feel proud of your scar at the end of the course and you can actually touch it and we recommend women after like six weeks postpartum that have been signed off from the doctor to join this course straight away because the sooner you can join it the better your recovery so yeah I'm just going to take some downtime now so my head is in the game for that and I love it each week week three one more to go after this but we're going to have another one in January, so that's all good. I'll leave the link for that as well, so you can put your name on the wait list for the next one. But yeah, that's so good that I've done that. And I've got an hour and a half, and then I pick a little one up. So I'm going to get the house in um, a good shape again, because I need to clear up my lights, because I'm not going to let him ruin them. <laughs> if I leave them out, he'll be like, oh, new toy. And they are expensive and I'm not going to let him break them. And it's not fair on him. And I also need to get some food ready for him because he's a hungry little thing. And even though he eats at nursery, he likes something when he comes back. So get that all prepared, take some time off and then be ready for this evening. But I'm just going to show you behind the scenes, even though I have done this before, just showing you like real life, what it takes to film at home for my workouts, to provide good content for you guys. But in the you know comfort of my own home and having like a little kid around. So this is real life, I'm just going to show you. So to start with, this is where I film. 
this is behind the scenes Roxy fit and this is where it's all like tranquil and it looks all neat and tidy and then you come to the chaos <laughs> but these are my lights which really help everything pop and look really clear so I love them go to my previous video to I talk and leave a link of where you can buy them but I get them from Amazon and as you can see Lego there where the tripod is but you know this is a mum of a toddler so I have to have his things pushed aside and then my lovely living room has to be all moved backwards so I can fit my space in but yeah this is what it takes you know and I make it work and it's what works for us but yeah I just wanted to show you that and then I always use my Rode mic so that clips onto my top and I have another one that clips into the camera and honestly, this is game changer. This is a really good mic. And the camera that I'm using at the moment is a Canon G7X. I just got it and loving it. And it's such a good camera. The quality is amazing. And I've been really enjoying it for my new workouts. So yeah, here is the lovely bit and here is the chaos. <laughs> but yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. And that's that. So guys, I thought I'd just do a little sit down with you. I've just got my matcha before I head up and show you something pretty cool. Um, but I just wanted to speak to you about, I have a lot of questions on my Instagram saying, how do I balance everything with a, a little one, um, being a mum, doing working from home, my fitness, my clients and that kind of thing. And my key thing to this is keeping your life easy and simple. <laughs> And what I mean by that is, you might see on my videos, and I talk a lot about this when eating, is I keep my meals throughout the week pretty simple. I make the same shopping list, and then one meal per week, I make it quite extravagant. But the rest of the meals, I keep it healthy, and um, I mix up the veg, I mix up the bowls, but I buy similar ingredients so I know I'm getting the right nutrition. I know I enjoy it and I know it's going to be quick and simple for me and my family to grab and go. The second thing is my skincare and makeup. I have a routine that is my holy grail that I know I can get down within like five to ten minutes in the morning or whenever I do it and it's you know a little step by step. I know which products work for my skin, I know which skincare works for my skin and if you want to see like my skincare routine or makeup routine, just leave me um, a comment in the description box below. Happy to film that for you. But it's really easy for me if I know each day what I'm using and I'm good to go. The same thing applies to working out. I know exactly throughout the week which workouts I wanna hit. And on Sundays, I plan them in so I know that I'm gonna get these workouts in those week and it works for my body. I don't try and make it too fancy or things that I haven't tried before. I do workouts that I enjoy and I know work for my body and that's what I couldn't recommend enough for you guys is do workouts that you enjoy and that really fill you with positivity and you get great result, results from within and on the outside too. Um, and then that leads me to scheduling. So how this helps me is on Sunday evenings, I love to now, I used to think, why would you do this? But it's super effective that I write a list in an old school notepad. <laughs> I have my iPad here for my calendar, but I write down a list of what I want to achieve that week and what I need to do for my job. And then I will put those things in daily schedules so i'll take on monday i've only got like two hours because the rest of the time i'm being a mum because that's my mum day mondays and fridays are my mondays so i know i only have a couple of hours when he naps when i can get things done and the, and the rest of the week he's in daycare for um at least five hours so i schedule in more of the heavier project projects then and i don't overwhelm myself i know now that i can only handle a certain amount um, per day and that works for me but if I do it on a Sunday and it's not even scheduling in my work I schedule in what I want to get achieved with Kyrie, what I want to do together and what I want to cook what I want to do as a family what jobs I need to do for the house and if I don't get through them all you have to just let it go and it doesn't matter and 
like that has been the hardest challenge for me but realizing that if you don't get everything done in that one day it's not a crime take a few deep breaths go for a nice walk and it'll be okay <laughs> so that's been a big challenge but it's really helped me and doing it on Sunday really helps me sleep well at night and clear for my week ahead so Monday comes and I know exactly what I need to do and I feel clear and I don't have that horrible anxiety feeling which I used to get because it has I have a lot going on um, just taking a little sip mm. this is like one of the joys of my life and this is something that I'll schedule in <laughs> I won't write it down but I like to have this in the afternoon whilst I do like my more admin work because it just like feeds my soul whilst like doing more of my editing and writing client emails. So yeah, keeping your life simple and that it makes it way more effective. And I hope this really helps you. And what I'm gonna speak about um, when we go upstairs is something that's been really helping me keep on my health track. And it's a simple way for me to do this at home, which is really important right now. And I know it works for me, which is the most important thing. So hopefully it'll help you guys too, so I'll take you along with me in a second. But yeah, that's basically how I schedule everything, keep everything in balance, and I hope these tips were useful for you. I just wanted a little sit down for you to discuss this, and hopefully these tips help. One other thing that I wanted to mention is if you're in filming like myself, then this little guy, tripod, I take everywhere with me now. It is amazing and it bends and you can like, if you're doing workouts outside, you can wrap it around things. If I'm doing, um, showing you recipes in the kitchen, it's really easy to put up. And also when I'm vlogging, I can hold the camera up like this and it just melt, makes my life filming a lot more simple and easy. So I'll leave the link for this guy below because it's been really handy. And it's from Lam Lamco, um, but yeah, if you're into like filming content, this is a game changer and I hope it helps you guys too. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the video and now let's get back to my daily vlog. So guys, I wanted to share something with you that really helps me stay on my health game and it helps me stay on track and I know exactly where my health is at and it's the, what I've been talking to you about of making things simple for me as a mum, as a busy mum that I know I can do very quickly, like once a month or when I need to, that's gonna help me know that I'm staying on my health game and that I'm living the best balanced life. So that is this called Vivo, if you can see that. So Vivo, you can think of it as your healthy at home assistant. And what it is, is you have an app on your phone, the Vivo app, and you get one of these urine strips that comes in that packet I just showed you. And so you pee on it, you wait for two minutes and it comes with a timer on the app. And then once it's been timed, you scan it. And I'm gonna show you this process, but basically after that, it tells you what you're lacking and what you're doing well with. So it shows you your pH levels, your hydration, what nutrition you're lacking in. It, it even shows up if you have a urine infection or you have an infection coming. And then what I love the most is it gives you healthy tips to add into your diet and supplement with that's gonna really help you improve. So last month, for instance, I it showed up that I was um, really suffering with my liver, which is really um, not unusual for me because even though I don't drink alcohol, I do have this thing called Gilbert's. And basically what Gilbert's is, is it really affects my liver. If I have an infection or I've got a cold or something, my body can't produce the things that just let it flush out of it. Hence why I take celery juice every day and try and stay very hydrated. And it actually showed up on the app that my liver was struggling. So it gave me some tips of how to help that. And I checked it two weeks ago and my liver, it says like is 100% it's doing well and I actually am feeling so much better. When I have this Gilbert's, I feel so lacked, lacking energy 
and it really, really is difficult um, to just go about my day. So, you know, it's been really helping me in that respect. So I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna quickly nip to the loo, pee on the stick, and then show you guys my new results a month on from my last one. But what I wanted to mention, because it's the Christmas time, Vivo have offered my followers a special Christmas gift of 50% off. So if you use the code ROXY50, then you get 50% off. I'm gonna leave all the links to Vivo in the description box. You've gotta give it a try. It's gonna really help you, you know, even if you're not a busy mum, just, you know, working from home and we can't get to the doctors as much as we want to right now, you know, it's that check-in with yourself that you're definitely drinking enough, you're eating the right nutrition, the protein for your body, and I just, I can't rave about it enough. So I'm gonna check in with you a, a bit. I'm gonna go pee on the stick and I'll check in with you later, okay? Okay, so there's my stick. I'm gonna go into the Vivo app and click timer. So it's counting down now. And then once it, the timer's up, I'll scan it and then it will come up with my results. Also what I love, it gives you these really cute quotes whilst you're waiting that gives you inspiration that you're getting better toward your health game. Okay, so the time is done, so now it's gonna scan. So it just takes my picture, it's loading. And as you can see, we are waiting now for my results to show up. Okay, so my results are here. Are you ready to learn? I am, so I'm gonna share with you guys. You're like my family now. So hopefully this can focus in. So it says your body doesn't have enough fluids. So I've just been filming, so that's probably true. So I'll get on the hydration game now. Normally that is not the case with me because I'm drinking so much. Um, your, your your urine is acidic. So that's very different, normally it's not. <laughs> so this might be because um, I've not had my hydration game that much. And it has maybe a possible infection. This is what I was having last month. So we'll go and see what it says about what I can do for that in a bit. It has a moderate amount of proteins, great liver function, which is great. That means that my Gilberts is doing all right. And then no sign of urinary, urinary tract infection. Trace amounts of ketones detected, so that's okay. And then moderate wellness, so I need to get my hydration better. So now it says, so moderate, it says all the things now which I could help myself. So it says you can up your hydration game, balanced breakfast can help um, with my ketones. Um, so maybe I can mix that up a little bit more. Limit the salt in my kidneys. Um, try to eat more fresh fruits and veggies. I mean, I definitely do do that, but I can always add more. Um, but they did my, say my kidneys were really good, so that's fine. So it says quin quinoa balls, which sound amazing. It's a good source of fiber. This week you can use puffed quinoa to make a couple of gluten-free snacks. So I might add more quinoa into my salad bowls and stuff and maybe add add them to my energy bites instead of like oats and stuff and then let's talk lettuce because this is good for making your um, urine more alkaline so I will try that and then boost protein so it just says to add um, teff flour which is gluten free which is good for me because I need to be gluten free for more protein and then high omegas to help um, chia seeds so maybe add more of those into my diet and um, it can add it to my oatmeal so that's definitely going to have some more chia puddings which I showed you on my last vlog <laughs> um, so yeah that is basically what it tells you and then yeah it just tells me my levels and I can go to my last test and you can just get some little ideas and I just think it's a great way of just tracking your health and and just being more mindful and trying these little adjustments to see if it helps your energy levels and just um, the goals that you want to hit. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed learning more about this. And again, if you want to try this out, then use the code ROXY50 for 50% off and let me know how you get on, guys. Make it shape! Wow, so what are we doing, Kyrie? What are we playing with? Sand. We're playing with sand. We just came back from his daycare 
and now we've decided to make some sand because it's very wet outside <laughs> so this is a really good activity it's this kinetic sand that's fine if he accidentally puts it in his mouth and it also doesn't like spread everywhere it stays stuck together so it can't like go into a million pieces so it's not too messy and I put all these mats down <laughs> so that my house doesn't get too messy but you did we're doing loads of shapes aren't we and it keeps them entertained for so long i'll link it it's from amazon really inexpensive but a really good thing to do um especially during lockdown with your little one so yeah we're going to be doing this until his uh nighttime snacks ready because he had dinner but he always gets really hungry so we make him something more before he goes to bed say bye bye <laughs> So it's now dinner time and because I have my course at 8 o'clock till 9.30 tonight, the C-section course, I wanted something quick. Normally I make my own soups but if I don't have the time and I need to just get something quick, I love this brand. If you can see it, just try and get it in focus. It's the Renourish Yellow Split Pea Turmeric Dal and it's really clean ingredients so check them out. Um, so I'm having that and then I'll show you now what I'm going to have it with and then I'm just sipping on this drink that I have for my immune system throughout the winter and it's this one. I'm going to flip the screen now so you can see everything that I'm having but um, yeah, going to dig into that. I've got a long evening ahead so nourish myself before you know going into the course. When I'm teaching a class I don't want to have anything heavy so the soup with some beans and spinach and stuff like that is going to be good for what I need to keep me going throughout the day and that's why I had quite a nourishing salad in the lunch time to keep me going. So yeah I'll show you now. Hello, so it's currently half past seven. In half an hour, I start the final week for the C-section recovery class with Hannah Johnson. Yeah, it's week four. It's always a bittersweet week four because it's the final week because you like really help these women from week one to week four. You see them like really massively come on and like achieve so many great things with their body and mind and like some of these women have never been able to touch their c-section scar and then for the first time ever they touch it and they feel confident again and their tummies feel like they're healing and getting strong and a strong core and yeah tonight's session i'm taking them through a posture control so really setting their posture to help them um because when you're breastfeeding and you've been pregnant your posture's all over the place so this that will really help with that and then also strengthening the glutes so toning and sculpting the booty so taking them from some some of my favorite exercises which are safe and effective after a c-section so nothing that's gonna like uh, harm them or anything so yeah um i really like this session and then hannah's gonna take them through a gentle meditation and um, more scar tissue techniques so that it's all over zoom and she takes them through a tutorial and I also show on screen because I have a C-section myself, if you don't know and you haven't followed me before. So I show techniques on screen. Um, yeah, so we take them through that and then after we just have a chat and see how they've done. But like we have a private Facebook group and the feedback's been just so wonderful and it just makes me and Hannah so happy and so glad we're doing what we're doing. Because when you've had a C-section, it's so like daunting what to do, where to start. And this is your starting guide. When you've been signed up from the doctor, you come to us, guys. And we take you through a four-week course that's going to heal your body and make you feel so confident to take on like exercise again, to like really love your tummy again. Um, so yeah, and you keep the recordings. And I'm so excited for the next course already, which will be next year. So follow me and Hannah on Instagram, I'll leave our handles below and we're always talking about when the next course will be or you can add your name to the waitlist, I'll leave the link below, you just click on that link, you add your name to the waitlist and when the next course is up and the dates are running you'll get the first dibs for the um, promo tickets. So yeah, I am looking forward to the course right now. It's a bare room, my mat's there and I'll do all of my... Uh, workouts here. I've got my lights. <laughs> and like I said in my previous video, everything's been shoved back that way. I've got my other baby light here, my ring lights in front of me. Good to go. I'm on Zoom. And yeah, looking forward to it. And I will check in with you afterwards to finish off the vlog. Okay, guys, so that's a wrap. I just feel so like 
oh, I feel so good after that one and finishing the course. It just fills me up with so much joy and I'm so glad I do what I do and help so many women. It's a difficult thing going through C-section and recovery, especially during coronavirus and all of this. So I'm just feeling lots of joy and um, I'm really grateful for what I do and I'm able to you know, help people just from the comfort of my own home and their comfort of their home. So yeah, I'm gonna finish the vlog here and I really hope you've enjoyed another one of my follow me around for the day, kind of look what I eat and mum life behind the scenes and let me know below what kind of videos you wanna see next and if you're enjoying these and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Have a good week and yeah, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you want to see next and see you later guys.